Ma'am, I, I just like to get your your clarification and your side on a story that came out sa Philippine Star, uh, quoting the UP COVID uh, pandemic response team. I, they gave credit to the Department of Health for being cooperative, as they said, and being very responsive to their recommendations. But at the same time, they noted that there were problems in how some some data was being structured and being reported in some cases category shifted in some cases in one case that they 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 cite within one day nagbago bago yung mga metrics and so on ano po bang nangyayari and where does that stand right now actually sir uh, hindi naman ho kami magkakaila no na kami uh, hindi namin sasabihin that we have a perfect system kung maiintindihan po ng uh, ating mga kababayan kung paano kinukuha ang datos dito sa ating bansa. Ito po ay nagsisimula sa pinakamaliit na facility natin down in the barangay level at umakit lahat po yan no, by levels to the national government. We get data through this and most of the time is through manual. no Magkakaroon lang ng automation pero pasa-pasa pa rin ang informasyon. And somewhere along the way, magkakaroon at magkakaroon po tayo ng ganitong errors. And we are not denying that kung meron man ho silang nakita amin pong iko-correct yan pero ang dapat po natin lang sana maintindihan in this response that we have uh, mula po nang nagumpisa tayo we try to uh, correct all these uh, gaps in our system for information and i think ngayon po mas marami po tayong datos kesa sa dati na walang pandemya at nabuo natin ng ganito kadaming datos sa ngayon kung meron hong ganitong mga pagkakamali, bukas po kami at kami po ay magkukorek niyaan kung talagang nakikitaan ng pagkakamali. You said the pandemic response team described these inconsistencies as alarming. Kasi kasama doon yung gender changes, yung inconsistencies hmm. daw sa mga address. Hindi ba problema yan for contact tracing especially and to, to track how the disease is spreading? How serious is the problem? Ang description nila alarming eh. Yes ma'am. Actually ngayong gabi lang namin nakuha no itong uh, information from the UP data uh, na sinasabi nila na ganito and we have already instructed our team to look into this kung ano man po yung naging inconsistencies namin and maybe by tomorrow we will get the complete picture kung ano po yung uh, ipinapaliwanag ng mga taga UP tungkol dito para po maiayos po namin. Just so that everybody knows we get data especially for the individuals that test positive and even negative. Lahat po nang yan, meron po tayong tinatawag na case investigation form. Ito pong case investigation na form, uh, mag-umpisa po yan uh, down to the barangay level as I've said, kung doon po tayo makakahanap ng ating mga suspetsya na merong sakit na ito. Ito pong form na ito, may address, lahat po ng profile, pati po yung konting history ng ating pasyente. And ang nangyayari po, nagkakaroon din tayo ng problema dahil hindi na kukompleto ng ating mga uh, local government units, and even our hospitals, itong pag-fill up ng form na to. So binabalik-balikan po namin yan. Nag-hire po kami ng tao para makompleto yan. That's why we also have backlogs in our data uh, sheets because of this incomplete information that are being given to us. But we are trying to address that right now. Offhand, do you, what do you attribute the discrepancies? Uh, hindi ko po masabi sa ngayon because I have not read the article. Uh, but uh, as I've said, tomorrow maybe we can get the complete picture and we can explain it better. Uh, sa ngayon po, ang sinasabi pa lang sa akin na meron nga pong nakita na very inconsistent daw yung mga data, especially for the profile of patients. Mm -hmm. uh, katulad ng sabi nyo, gender, and then the addresses were different or it's not mm -hmm. there. So titignan po natin lahat bukas at uh, magbibigay po kami ng pahayag ukol dito. But does it, you said, does it potentially, I mean, is there concern that this could uh, potentially and significantly uh, affect conclusions? Uh, of course, of course. Data mm. will be very important when you interpret and you uh, do your conclusions. But mm. as I said, we have to see how, how, uh, how big it is, how significant it is, itong sinasabi nilang inconsistencies natin para masabi natin na makaka-apekto sa mga conclusions at saka interpretation. So we need to check kung gaano po ka uh, lawak itong uh, pagkakamaling nagawa po dito sa data systems namin.